The Navy's ballistic missile submarines, called boomers, provide the United States with its most survivable nuclear strike capability. And that mission began a long time ago. In the 1950s, the world seemed like a safer place, but it was a time when the Cold War ran hot. It was from this tense atmosphere that the concept of a submarine-based ballistic missile program was born in 1955. Within five years, on July 20th, 1960, the first Polaris A-1 missile was successfully fired from USS George Washington. A year later, the A-2 followed, first launched from USS Ethan Allen. For the first time, a range of 1,500 nautical miles was achieved. And with the launch of a more powerful A-3 in 1964, no land target was left out of reach of U.S. submarines. As the 1960s brought social change, it also brought a new direction in ballistic missiles with the Poseidon C-3. Launched in 1970, the Poseidon was outfitted with multiple warheads, each of which could strike a different target. Although the Cold War began to thaw in the 70s, tensions remained, leading to the development of the more advanced Trident 1C4 missile. This led to the new Trident SSBN force. The first, the USS Ohio, was launched on September 6, 1982. Seven years later, the Trident 2 D5 missile was deployed with a larger payload and hard target accuracy. Today, the world is still a dangerous and uncertain place. Our fleet ballistic missile submarines continue to patrol the oceans. With well-trained crews and weapons that can reach just about any target on Earth, they remain America's undersea deterrent force.